This is Max Williams with United Real Estate, and today I'm in Western Henrico. More specifically, I'm in the Tuckahoe section, and today we're going to take a look at a three bedroom, one full, and one half bath home. This home is located here in a nice established neighborhood, home built in 1975, and our square footage is coming in at 1825. This is a tri level, and a lot of people love the tri level concept. Uh, because if there is someone either on a part or a full-time basis that gets on your absolute last nerve it's great because you've got three levels you can get away from them fairly easily and everyone have their own space and maintain harmony in the home one of the things i love about this is we are on a corner lot and we do have a fenced backyard uh, i'm going to show you here from the side our parking off street is actually on this side of the home which is a little unusual because the other homes uh, you actually have the driveway on the front this one's a little tough to see uh, but i think you can make it out we've got the gravel here uh, directly ahead and then the curb cut down off the street so you would pull in there uh, and just pull right around here and park where i'm standing right now that of course is the privacy fence here for the backyard we've got partial brick and partial clapboard uh, here on our exterior uh, we've got a number of upgrades which include replacement windows uh, we've got a newer gas furnace a carrier gas furnace uh, there is a newer roof on this home as well in addition to some upgrades in the kitchen all right i know that everyone can't afford an 800 plus thousand dollar home so i do my best to cover a variety of different price points and uh, the beauty of the current market is rates are at record lows right now. So if you buy a home and you get financing, everything is on sale as a result. Your financing, of course, is the one factor uh, that controls your monthly payment in addition, of course, to the purchase price itself. Okay, as we come in, we've got nice neutral colors. Our paint looks great. We've got wood floors with character. Uh, directly ahead is going to be our formal dining area, our kitchen there in the middle of the frame, and here to the right is going to be our coat closet convenient to the front door. All right, we're going to move through into the dining area. I want to give you a view here. We've got this nice big bay window here at the front. You can overlook uh, the entire front yard. You've got a lot of light that's going to flow in through that window. Directly ahead is our formal dining room. We have chair rail in here. Great place uh, right off the kitchen, uh, very conveniently located. Of course, our kitchen, we have a nice uh, upgraded top. This is actually not a marble. This is a Formica material, uh, but looks very good here with the color scheme. Uh, goes nicely with the subway tile. Uh, the white cabinets, the black appliances, which do convey, and then our dinette space directly ahead. This area does have a ceiling fan, and we've got that wall oven right there as well. All right, we're going to start here down on our lower level and take a look. Uh, here to the right is going to be our family room. I love this room because it is nice and long, so if you wanted to make this a kind of a home theater style uh, you've got plenty of distance to get away from that screen and lay out your furniture accordingly uh, some buyers like a lighter color on the walls uh, these could easily be painted or if you are a purist and you prefer the natural wood look that's also an option as well you can just leave it uh, like it is it's a great open space uh, nice to have this in an 18 25 square foot home this nice big space where you can just lay out your furniture relax and not feel cramped here to the right is going to be a flex room this is actually not one of the three bedrooms that i mentioned however it could easily be a bedroom because we have a little nook right there in the corner it would not take a whole lot to frame that out put up some drywall and a door it's deep enough and would be a legitimate closet here in this lower level so you could either do that or use it as a cave space or home office or playroom a number of different options here in this 
convenient floor plan. Uh, speaking of convenient, we've got a half bath that's right there, a great location for it, so you don't have to go up and down the steps uh, if nature calls. All right, this is going to be our utility room. Uh, to the right is going to be our dryer. To the left, of course, our washing machine. We've got a good looking newer gas fired water heater and that's that carrier furnace that i mentioned earlier that of course is going to provide your central heat and air let's pop out back here in the backyard and see what we have in store uh, back here great space mature trees uh, as i mentioned earlier we are completely fenced that's our outdoor carrier unit we've got plenty of children's apparatus one two three pieces of children's apparatus if you don't have children you buy this house, that may be a good reason to justify having them. Give them uh, some usage there uh, with this apparatus. All right, here is our back from the... We've got plenty of brick back here. Not much uh, clapboard. Uh, so you've got great, lo relatively low maintenance uh, here as far as our exterior. Okay, let's go on back through. We're going to take it upstairs to our bedroom level see what we have up there we're going through some really uneasy times uh, from a, a number of standpoints our virus numbers are are ticking up if you are having issues making your mortgage payment you want to make sure you talk to someone early in the process um, if you need to talk to me just give me a shout um, we can talk about the options there are some possibilities out there that people don't know about and selling a home is not always the best option. So the key is you want to start early because if you delay, then typically things get worse. You want to always maintain control of your situation through proper knowledge. And as I've said before, you don't know what you don't know. So you always want to talk to someone that's in the business. There's no judgments. Uh, we will advise you uh, the best we can. And if we can't advise you, We'll put you in touch with the appropriate uh, people or entities that can advise you and so you can make the most of your investment and keep some peace of mind because peace of mind is priceless okay this is going to be our bathroom we've got an unusual bathroom configuration because directly ahead is going to be our tub shower area nice deep linen closet here and then if we keep going here to the right is going to be a powder room now we can close the door here of course or we can close the door here and that actually goes to the primary bedroom so we've got a really interesting uh, situation here with the bathroom and um, we see this from time to time uh, the way they've laid it out uh, let me see this is going to be the middle size bedroom and this one is the most conservative of the bedrooms. And I'm gonna take you now into the primary, which is right here. Uh, we do have good natural light. We've got two windows uh, that let light flow into this bedroom. A good size closet here. They took the bifold doors. Bifold doors are notorious for being a pain. And a lot of people just go ahead and take them down. They'll put curtains up or do something else. Uh, just because the hardware can be uh, really a challenge on some of these bifold doors. This, of course, is the powder room from the angle uh, looking in from the primary. And we just looked in from the other direction here just a few minutes. I'm going to take you back through here so you can make sure you get proper orientation. Okay, really interesting home. Uh, if you have questions about this or any other property on the market, remember, I can help you with any of the thousands of homes that are uh, available in the marketplace, not just the ones that you see on video. Uh, so we've got many homes uh, that are available. Max Williams, 804-402-7788. I can reach on Facebook under Richmond Area Foreclosures on YouTube under my name, Max Williams Realtor. Thanks so much for taking the tour. Y'all be safe. Happy Thanksgiving. Have a great day.